More than 43 million people, or about 15% of the nation's population, rely on private domestic wells for drinking water. In Arizona, there are more than 100,000 domestic wells providing water to an estimated 120,000 households, or about 5% of the state's population. Most well owners are unfamiliar with water quality standards and testing and don't realize that domestic wells are not subject to EPA drinking water regulations. You, as a well owner, are responsible for maintaining the safety of your drinking water. A recent nationwide survey of well water quality conducted by the U.S. Geological Survey indicated that about 79% of the wells tested contained one or more contaminants that may be harmful to human health. This video will introduce you to how to sample your drinking water and obtain the water quality results. There are several certified drinking water analysis laboratories across Arizona. You can find one by calling the state health department or asking a well driller or pump installer or looking in the yellow pages for a certified laboratory. Once you find a lab near you, give them a call and discuss what parameters you want to test for. At a minimum, you should test for bacteria, nitrate, and arsenic, which are common contaminants in Arizona aquifers. The laboratory will send you the sample collection bottles, along with instructions, directly to your home. Included in the instructions will be a chain of custody form where you will note the location, date, and time of your sample collection. Each bottle will be labeled individually, and there will be detailed instructions about how to collect the sample. Do not open the bottles until you are ready to fill them with water. Each bottle will have a label. Here you see the red warning label, indicating that this bottle contains acid. So do not rinse or empty any of the bottles. In this case, the small amount of acid is included to stabilize the sample prior to analysis. Each bottle will be labeled. The smaller bottle will be used to collect the sample for bacterial analysis. A small volume of white powder will be seen inside the bottle, so do not rinse this bottle. Label each bottle with your name, the data sample collection, and the time. Be sure to use indelible ink as the labels could get wet. Here you see our well owner filling out the chain of custody form. This is important for the lab to track who has had contact with the sample. When your sample arrives in the laboratory, they will fill out the bottom portion of this form, noting who opened the box, the date, and time. This is important because each water sample must be analyzed within a certain number of hours after collection. If your sample has been delayed and has passed the holding time, it may not be representative or legally valid. Your analytical results are confidential and the laboratory is not authorized to share your results with anyone else. On the day of sample collection, you should run a few loads of laundry, irrigate your garden, using as much water as you can. Water that has been in contact for a long period of time inside the well casing, pipes, and storage tank may not be representative of your aquifer's water quality. If you suspect a contamination problem with your storage tank and or house piping, you should collect a water sample at the wellhead and from the faucet where you obtain most of your drinking water and compare the two results. Remove the screw-on aerator on your faucet prior to sample collection. Wipe the end of the faucet with alcohol to remove any residual bacterial contaminants. Wear clean gloves when you collect your sample to prevent contaminating the bottles with bacteria and to protect your hands against acid preservatives. Turn the faucet on and let it run as you prepare the bottles. Each bottle will have a sterile seal and this bottle also includes a caution. This bottle contains an acid preservative. Set the faucet flow to a slow steady trickle and fill but do not overfill any bottle. Do not allow the water to overfill or splash out of the bottle as it will dilute the acid preservative. Fill the bottle to the top, only allowing a little bit of air space prior to screwing the lid back on tightly. Here the well owner is cleaning the faucet with an alcohol wipe prior to collecting the bacteria sample. 
The bottle for the bacterial analysis will indicate the fill line. Fill the bottle to this line and no further. Again, do not rinse out this bottle because it contains a white powder needed for preserving and preparing the water sample for analysis. As you prepare to pack and ship your bottles back to the laboratory, it is a good idea to make sure that the bottle caps are on tight and put the chain of custody form in a separate zip-tight plastic bag. It is also a good idea to individually repack each bottle in a plastic Ziploc. The samples must be transported chilled, so make sure that the ice bags are sealed and will not leak in the shipping container as the ice melts. Note that water samples for bacterial testing must arrive at the laboratory before Friday because the samples must be prepared and analyzed within 24 hours of receipt. Laboratories typically do not work over the weekend, and if your bacterial sample arrives on Friday, the lab may charge you extra to have a biologist come in on Saturday to read your results. Pack your shipping container carefully. Plan on either hand delivering the shipping container to the lab or ship by overnight express shipping. Again, the bacterial sample must arrive within 24 hours of sample collection and the lab must prepare and analyze the sample within 24 hours of receipt. Two to three weeks after your samples have arrived at the lab, you will receive the results in the mail. Know that if the lab found any problems with your bacteria sample, they will call you immediately and caution you not to drink your water until you have found the source of contamination. The bacterial test and other results will be sent to you in a written report. The lab should include notices of any results exceeding drinking water standards. And well owners should keep water test results together with other well registration and maintenance records. Private water wells have sustained homeowners in predominantly rural areas of Arizona for many years and will do so for many more. Domestic water wells are an indispensable source of water for many people who are located far from public water supplies. Along with the freedom to have and control your private source of water comes the responsibility to maintain your well and water system equipment and to periodically test your water quality. Our thanks to Ms. Patty Pop for assisting us with this demonstration of how to collect a proper water sample. This video is one of a series of four introducing you to basic aspects of your domestic water supply well. This video is the result of a collaboration between the University of Arizona Cooperative Extension Service, the Water Resources Research Center, and the Arizona Water Well Association. Funding was provided by the Water Sustainability Program of the Arizona Technology Research Initiative Fund from the University of Arizona Superfund Research Program and the Cooperative Extension Signature Program Initiative.